You've been caught red-handed for smuggling. The goods will be confiscated, and you will be taken into custody. What was that? Looks like some trouble. I'm gonna check it out. Hey! I'm gonna lend a hand! There's no need for that! You should learn to accept the generosity of others, you know! What you're offering is called an unwelcome favor! Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, well I don't recall me begging for anything. If they're in a car, there's only certain routes they can take. We can catch up by using the back roads. What? What is it? Oh, hurry up. I know already. There's some trouble at the harbor. Trouble? Here you go. <laughs> oh, lasagna! I've been waiting for you. Thank you for the meal! What is it now, Luca? Uh, the, the party tonight is a very special one. We should start heading back to the mansion. There'll be plenty of time after we finish our patrol. Yes, but you'll also need time to change. That stupid idiot! He's too reckless! Nova! Felicita. Don't move, Liberta. are getting a little bold, you know. Well, I am bald after all. Just kidding! <laughs> well, uh, let's go. Who are those people? Man, that was really intense. Is this your first time here, boys? Oh. Uh, I'm curious if this is the first time you've been to the trade island of Regalo. Uh, uh yes. Then let me tell you. Clean out your ears and listen well. They are the vigilante organization that protects Regalo Island, the Arcana Familia.
Milady. Hold on. You can't be serious. Oh, please, no, you mustn't. This isn't just some ordinary party. Milady. Well, everyone is waiting for you. <gasps> Milady! What's the matter, Luca? You're not attending the party in those clothes, are you? Yeah. <laughs> but you simply mustn't. Today is... It's Papa's birthday, isn't it? Let's go, Fukulada. Ooh. Uh, uh, she used to be much more obedient. Maybe there's a problem with how you raised her. Huh? Indeed. You were her personal attendant since she was little, after all. Huh? This is all your fault, Luca. Ah! Come on, we're gonna be late, Luca! Uh, uh, right away, m'lady! <sighs> What's wrong with you? What are you wearing, Bambina? Yeah, I mean, we were all sort of looking forward to seeing you in a dress, you know? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Luca, do your job as her attendant! Yeah, Luca, it's bad enough we're constantly surrounded by just guys! But I wanted... I wanted her to wear a dress so badly! However, <laughs> if something were to happen, it's better to be wearing something less restrictive than a dress. You've got a point, my friend. It's easier to admire Bambina's long, beautiful legs with what she's got on now. So tell me, do you have a leg fetish, Shorty? Do you? Hmm. We may agree on something after all. Don't be so stupid. How come you're not wearing a dress, princess? <laughs> What's wrong? Princess? Your face is red. <laughs> Ow! Ah, what the hell was that for? Well, what the hell did I do, princess? <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sorry, okay? Jeez. Huh? Um, Jolie. It's because you were thinking bad things. Just what the heck do you mean by bad things? This shouldn't need explaining again. But we've all made a deal. A deal with Taroko in order to gain our arcana powers. For example, you, Liberta, have the first card. Il Mato. The Fool. Right. Nova, and you have the 13th card, La Morte, Death. You know, you don't have to explain all of this now. Now then, Milady made a deal with the 6th card, Glee Amanti, the Lovers. And her power, by that I mean her arcana power, is the power to see deep down inside into others' hearts. Then that means... <sighs> but I... I just saw it by chance. Yes. Arcana powers use emotions as their foundation. Uh... The reason you don't have control over your powers yet, milady, is because you're still just a child. <gasps> Please remove your hand from a lady. Very well. <clears throat> hmm? Wait, if she read Liberta's heart, then... Wait, does that mean you were thinking of a lady in unbecoming ways that are inappropriate? What the hell do you mean, unbecoming ways? Well, I mean, like... My condolences. Hey, hmm? check it out. Dante's about to give his greeting. Gentlemen, I would like to thank everyone for showing up despite your busy schedules. For the sake of our familia's papa, Mondo, we will start with a word from papa. <laughs> the head of our family! Warrior! 
Happy to Arcana! Gentlemen, thank you for gathering today. I am celebrating my 59th birthday today. The reason I have gotten this far is because of all of you. Our Regalo Island has overcome many hardships. Raids from smugglers, occupation from foreign countries, lack of goods, oppression from a tyrant, epidemics. Once you start counting, there's no end. But we were able to overcome all of these adversities with our familial bond and also with our arcana powers. But now I have gotten to that age. I'm starting to think about retirement. <laughs> Papa? Therefore, I am considering choosing someone to take my place as Papa. Oh. <laughs> In two months, we will be holding the Arcana Duello. Arcana Duello? It will be a fight where all those with Arcana powers will participate to determine who has the strongest Arcana powers. I, the 21st card, Il Mondo, will give to the winner the spoils of victory. And in doing so, will grant them a wish and name them Papa. One more thing. The winner will marry my daughter, Felicita. <gasps> Papa? Wait, what? What does that mean? Well, this will get interesting. <laughs> <sighs> what is it, Felicita? Do you have any concerns? And what if... I don't want to get married? You chose with your own free will to join the Arcana Familia. This is the rule of the family. Meaning, you have to do exactly as I say. Am I wrong? <laughs> you will become the new mama and support the family. Papa, why are you doing this? There is a reason. However, I need not explain myself. Oh. If you don't want to follow orders, challenge me here and win. Papa, that's impossible. Both of you just shut up. Uh. This I want to see. <laughs> Is that really all your kick has to offer? <laughs> You haven't the right to choose your own path. At least not in your present condition. Princess! Milady! Are you just going to sit there and glare? A little child can do that too. Why not try shedding a tear or two as well? You may be able to earn the pity of the men who are going to participate in the Arcana Duello. You're robbing the princess of her freedom. Hmm? How can you call yourself a father, huh? Liberta, what do you think you're doing? Well done, Liberta the Fool. Your careless, no-regard outbursts are fantastic. Debito, don't antagonize him! Are you saying you can't follow orders either, Liberta? Yeah. Then why not defeat me? Right here and now. Ugh. What's the matter? Are you scared of making a fool of yourself like Felicita did? <sighs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? But there's no guarantee. <sighs> that I'm going to make a fool of myself. Nova? 
stop right there. Remember, Papa is still the father of our family. I won't condone any harm toward our father. Do you understand? Move! <laughs> Debbie too. Very perceptive. I made a contract with the ninth card, Laramita, the hermit. So... So I see your powers are to make yourself invisible. Let me go! Let me go! Would you let me go, you... Meathead! I understand how you feel. You shouldn't Get disobey you. Papa. Capisce? <laughs> Pache has a deal with the eleventh card, La Forza. Strength. His strength is overwhelming. No one can oppose it. Let me go. Huh? Let go of me! How pitiful. If you want to be the one who frees my daughter, then you better win the Arcana Duello. I told you. Huh? I will grant any wish. Felicita. I don't know. Mama, there is a way for you to win as well. I only have one question. You're going to choose your own path, right? The Wheel of Fortune has started turning. Opposing the divine guidance of the Taroko. There's no way I'd ever get married. But I certainly wouldn't mind being bound with Bambina. <coughs> Debito, how dare you! Hmm. Uh, I'm sure every day would be fun if the princess were my wife. Yes, sir, that would be one sweet life. Pache, you too! So, then what are you gonna do, Luca? About the Arcana Duello? I will cheer on Milady, and that is all! However, Papa said... That everyone with Arcana powers will be fighting in the duelo. <sighs> Bambina is a heartless woman. However, that can be rather charming, don't you think? Mondo has thought up something rather absurd, don't you think? I'm getting all excited thinking of Milady as my bride. It's quite titillating. Jolie, come on. Seriously, do you think I could possibly lose? Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. That is, if I take this seriously. <laughs> Liberta? Hey, don't worry. It'll be all right, princess. Huh? I'm going to win this and take the title of Papa. Then... And then, I'll be your bride? Huh? Huh? No, no, no! That's not what I meant! Um, anyway, um... What it means... It means that you'll once again regain your freedom! Right? Oh. <laughs> That's right. Huh? If I win, then that means you may end up being my bride. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But that's sort of weird to think about. <laughs> You're so oblivious. What do you mean by oblivious, you chickpea? Ugh, don't call me a chickpea! Ugh. You are barely able to even control your own Arcana powers. And yet you're foolish enough to say you'll win the Arcana Duelo? If that's not oblivious, then what is it? I made the decision to live by this sword. So you see... I have no need for Arcana powers. Ugh. You truly are oblivious. But you can't use your Arcana powers either, am I right? In fact, I've never seen you use your Arcana powers. Ever! Don't compare me with you! Oh. 
There's nothing to worry about, Felicita. Uh. If I were to win, I'll not marry you. Right or wrong, you should have some say-so, right? Don't worry. It'll be all right, Princess. That means if either of us win, then Princess will get to be free. The likelihood of you winning is slim. In fact, it's impossible. Huh? The hell did you say, Chickpea? The truth. <sighs> and don't call me Chickpea. <laughs> Are you sad? Well, you are leaving the house you've lived in for so long, so it's no surprise if you're a little sad. But fear not. You have me, your attendant. The 14th card. La Temperanza, forever by your side. I suppose it was my decision after all to join the Arcana Famiglia. Welcome, Princess! You all came to welcome us? Of course! This is the day commemorating Miss Felicita, Mondo's only daughter, joining our family. What he said, Bambina. Welcome, Princess! <laughs> Thanks, you guys! You came too, Nova? This idiot insisted that all the upper echelons of each Siri be present in greeting you, Felicita. Who the hell are you calling an idiot, you chickpea? I told you, don't call me a chickpea. <laughs> Fel, don't laugh, it's not funny. Hey now, when did you start calling her Fel? That's right, you two grew up together, didn't you? Mm-hmm. All right, it's been decided. Mm -hmm. Let's all introduce ourselves to the princess again. There's no need. Well, she may know you, but she doesn't know me that well, you know what I mean? You mean she doesn't know us, Liberta. Exactly. This is true. <sighs> oh, yes, please. All right, I'm Liberta. I'm an intelligence. Intelligence is the Siri that deals with diplomacy. And the leader of said Siri is Dante. Hello, my lady. I am also the director of the Arcana Famiglia. And the Tarakoa card that I made a contract with is the fourth card, the Emperor, L'Imperatore. My arcana power is... Back down, old man. Oh. My name is Debito. I'm in charge of money circulation and head of the Siri coin. So tell me, what would you like to know about me, Bambina? And I'm in the Siri responsible for auditing. Pache of the club. My favorite food is lasagna. And I you don't need, need an introduction, introduction Luca. Luca. <laughs> like I was saying, my favorite food is lasagna. You two are really me. Really like all of you. What are you being all shy for? I'm not being shy. I'm of the Siri Holy Grail, responsible for defense. There are so many different Siri. Well, believe me, on Regalo, all of them are necessary. And you, milady, will be assigned to the Siri in charge of arbitration. Sword. Sword? Who's the head of that, Siri? That position is open. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> By the name of the 20th card, Judgment, Il Guidizio, the battle has been decided. I proclaim Felicita the victor. Well done, m'lady. I definitely don't dislike strong women. Congratulations, m'lady! Well, it's settled. Princess is the new head of the sword. Salute! Salute! Well, now, it looks like your new path has opened up. Right, princess? A uh, new path, you say? Huh. That was fairly well said for you. My new path. You haven't the right to choose your own path. Not in your present condition. <laughs> in two months, we will be holding the Arcana Duello. And in doing so, we'll grant them a wish. And name them Papa. One more thing. The winner will marry my daughter, Felicita.
Good morning. Good morning, milady. Oh. Huh. That's right. My job is to sort through your documents. Yes. All the other members of SWORD are already out on their patrol. <laughs> Everyone's looking out for you. What? Well, in light of Papa's announcement last night, we figured you might need some time to think by yourself. I'm fine with it. <sighs> Th that's right! Uh, we've received quite a few lemons! I'll go make some lemonade. Come in. Ciao, princess. Liberta, what are you doing here? Here. Huh? How pretty. I picked it up when we were unloading this morning. Uh, are you worried about me because of yesterday? Uh, huh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be okay. I am the head of sword after all. <laughs> well said, princess. Huh? Nova? Wonder where he's going. I've never seen him in such a hurry before. Let's go see why! <laughs> Sorry about the wait, milady. Milady? Where did you go? Milady! Huh? The hell are you doing? I'm working. You two seem rather close this morning. Close? Huh? Ah, sorry, princess! What? Uh, anyway, what the hell do you mean you're working? This has nothing to do with either of you. <sighs> Geez, sorry I asked. Let's go, princess. Are you having some kind of trouble? No, I'm fine. <laughs> White kitten? Huh? What the heck is that? Did you? You did! Stop snooping around in my heart without permission! Oh, I'm sorry. Snooping around what? You know, you don't have to be so mean about it. Huh? What did you say about a white kitten? <sighs> what? You saved it? You saved a white kitten from being run over by a carriage? Keep it down. So you were looking for that kitten? Yes. I followed it to this mansion and thought I had it. But it got excited or something and ran off somewhere. So then let me help you find it. There's no need. <laughs> but there's a better chance of finding it with three people rather than just one. Why three? <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to help you too. All right, let's split up. How about it? Yeah. All right, I'm going this way. Then I'll look over there. Ugh. Hey, kitty cat. <coughs> Found you. <laughs> huh? Ah! That was close. This is probably like really expensive. <laughs> no, no. no! <coughs> oh. Mustn't. Luca? If you will, allow me. 
<laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. Be a good little kitty and don't move, okay? Uh, uh. Found you! You're not getting away! What the? I'm going to run it from this side! And I'll go from this side! They say cats like girls, but could it be any more obvious? I mean, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> huh? What's so funny, princess? It's just so rare for you two to agree on something. Ugh, it's merely a coincidence. I believe that would be my line. Oh, you really pissed me off! <sighs> Again, my line. Meow. So, what are you gonna do with the cat? There's no other choice but to return it to where I found it. Where you found it? You mean Fiore Street? But what if it runs into the path of a carriage again? Are you going to adopt it then? Uh, you know I can't. I never know when I'll have to go out to see because of work. I think this cat belongs to someone though. See? Then I think it'd be a good idea if we found the owner. Despite the fact that we have no leads. <sighs> What a pretty smell. Huh? It smells like flowers. This would be a perfume made from a blend of Osman Rose and Prelude Rose. Jolie! Uh, the ribbon around its neck is made from fairly expensive material. Hmm. What's the matter? Well, it's just that you rarely ever leave the lab, so what are you doing out at this hour? Indeed. The Taroko I made a deal with was the 18th card, which happens to be my favorite, the moon, which is La Luna. But that doesn't mean I'm not allowed out during the day. I'm sure you probably hit a snag during the progress of your shady research. <laughs> Apparently, you still fail to comprehend alchemists such as myself. Uh, thank you. <laughs> For telling us about the perfume, I mean. I am the family's advisor, after all. It's only natural I advise family members when they are troubled. <laughs> well, we're one step closer than we were before, right? The clues are... This fancy perfume... And a ribbon made from expensive material. Let's go! Yeah! Yes. <laughs> and I love you today too, lasagna. Thank you for the meal. Oh, oh look what the cat dragged in. <sighs> I think it's rather impossible to find its owner with just those clues. Or maybe not. It's still too soon to decide that, maybe. But after walking around so much, it's no wonder you're exhausted. Sorry, I wish those of us in club could be of a little more help. But we have to get to work now. <sighs> I'm sorry, Princess. If only I knew more about perfumes. Oh, there is someone, though, who would know. And so you came to see me. Meow. More importantly, why don't you play for a while, sweet little Bambina? So this is the place run by Coin, Isis Regalo. Yeah, this isn't the only place, though. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> You're always welcome here anytime, Bambina. So. When is next time, anyway? Enough already! Can you help us or not, Debito? I can think of at least 15 signorinas that I am well acquainted with who wear this particular perfume. However, I have no idea if any of them own cats. Not to mention, if the only other clue you have is that ribbon. 
I rather hate to disappoint a woman, especially you, Bambina. But it's fruitless. You should give it up. Princess. It's a blonde. Uh, princess, did you just look into its heart? You just said a blonde, didn't you? I'm able to narrow it down to eight with that. Hmm? Expensive material. It would seem I won't have to disappoint you after all, Bambina. I was worried sick about you, you know. <laughs> Thank you very much, Arcana Famiglia. <laughs> I must do something to thank you. <gasps> oh my! <laughs> How wonderful! Just like I thought, it looks great on you. <laughs> It's yours as a token of my gratitude. Hmm? But why? Princess, uh, just take it. She gave it to you. Accepting someone's token of appreciation is also good manners. Meow. Thank you so much, Federica. <laughs> Oh, man. It feels good to be able to help out those in need. Uh? It was your Arcana powers. The reason we got to see your smiling face was because of your powers. Oh, you're so naive. What? I told you, didn't I? Do not go looking into others' hearts without permission. <sighs> Why do you have to be such an ass and say it like that? I don't speak cat, so I don't know how it felt. But do you think that there's a single person who wouldn't feel uncomfortable if you did that to them? Uh, but we're going to have to win in the upcoming Arcana Duello. We don't have a choice. Uh, uh, chill, dude. Where did that come from? And because of that, it's true that we need to strengthen our Arcana powers. The only way to do that is to learn how you can control your powers with your own free will. Once you do that, I'll believe in you. He's right, Princess. Huh? Even if you can't do it now, don't worry about it. You will eventually. Then you can win the Arcana Duello and help even more people who are in need. So do your best, okay? Mm. You too, Liberta. Huh? Me too. You're gonna have to learn how to use your Arcana powers. Even if you can't do it now, you will eventually, right? <clears throat> Let's head back. No, I... I mean, I... <sighs> you haven't the right to choose your own path. Not in your present condition. He may be right. But if I'm able to strengthen my Arcana powers... ...and win the Arcana Duello... ...then I will decide my own path. S someone Please help me! Mariella and Donatella are mean. I know I'm the one who forgot to check if all the doors were locked, but they still could have come with me. <gasps> Who's there? Is there anybody in there?
A ghost in the kitchen? How ridiculous. I'm sure she was just tired and was seeing things. But Isabella is saying she saw one. She said she had long hair and was wearing a white dress. She only thought she saw it because she was scared. If she would regularly train her mental state, then little things wouldn't scare her. So you say, <laughs> but you're actually scared, aren't you? What did you say? Oh, man, it's not showing up. Shh. Huh? Will you shut up? Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Shh. Uh. What's the matter? Uh, it's nothing. Don't what? worry about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to look! Just calm down! Oh, oh that hurt. Oh. Apache, Apache repellent? repellent? Yes, I thought it would be effective, but I didn't mean to scare everyone. So this is the ghost's identity? How ridiculous. I wanted it to look convincing, so I thought it wise to use some alchemy. I didn't expect you to be so surprised. So why the repellent for Pache? I guess I can figure that out on my own. Yes. I still haven't overcome the fear I felt that day. <laughs> Give them to me. Huh? Who is it? Dolce. Dolce. To eat <laughs> so a sleepwalking Pache ate all of them? It's no laughing matter! Thanks to him, I was awake all night. So I set up that trap so he couldn't bother me this time. Well, if that's the case, you should have told us prior, idiot. But, Luca... What do you plan on doing with all these sweets you've made? I'm taking them to the Piccolino. Piccolino? Oh, I see you haven't been informed yet, milady. The Piccolino is an annual event for little children that the family holds here on Regalo Island. We invite all the kids from Regalo and entertain all of them. We put on shows and play all sorts of games. It's a lot of fun. I know, you should come too. It's the day after tomorrow. Mm. You're going too, right, Nova? He skips out every time. Can't, I'm busy. So you say, but the truth is you're so short you can't handle kids, huh? So, princess, it'll be the day after tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> hurry up, it's going to start! Wait for me! Come <laughs> on! If you don't hurry, I'm leaving you behind! Oh! Oh. I'm sorry. We're sorry, are you hurt? <clears throat> I haven't seen you before. Do you live around here? Are you going to the Piccolino too? Piccolino? And now, if I can have everyone's attention, what I'm about to show you is the most secretive of secret techniques. A dove will appear. Huh? Uh... Uh... Time to change players. <gasps> no one's impressed with doves anymore, Luca. Learn some new material. What?! Let's try something different, shall we? Having fun is all about excitement and thrills. Do you want to hear a really scary story? Debbie chose awesome! No, that's scary! You see, the scary moon demon, Diavolo, actually lives here among us on the island of Regalo. It all happened one terrible stormy night. An orphan child came to this very church in search of help. It was there that the child met the moon demon, Diavolo. But of course the poor child didn't realize that it was a demon. How unfortunate. 
For you see, the child's immortal soul was severed in two that day. One half became the demon's minion, Belzebu, who resides in the darkness, hiding. <laughs> what about the other half? The other half wasn't able to go to heaven or hell. It's said that the ghost still haunts the church to this very day. Rumor has it, it's looking for someone to play with. Speaking of which, it's right over there! <laughs> hey now, don't freak out too much, okay? Fukulona, your timing was more than impeccable. Woo. Apparently, that was a little too intense. Hey now, don't look so sad. You'll ruin your beautiful face. So Debito actually likes children. How unexpected. He looks scary, but he's good at taking care of others. Indeed. <laughs> he was always nicer to the younger kids. Have you two both known Debito for a while? Yeah, the three of us grew up together like brothers. In fact, we often played in this church as well. How nostalgic. You can't hide the sound of your stomach growling, Pache. Man, where's Debito? I still haven't found him. If there's one thing he's good at, it's hiding for sure. <laughs> Pache. Huh? Uh, hey, we found Debito. The look on Debito's face as he was sleeping then was like an angel. I'm still the angel of love even now. Isn't that right, Bambina? <laughs> and yet he's such a terrible adult! What? You want to tell me exactly what's so terrible about me? Now, now, grown-ups don't fight. <laughs> oh, Luca, please, I'm so starving! Thank you for the food! Those idiots are on the same level as kids. The dessert for today is bocce di dama, milady. The name means kiss from a lady. It looks delicious. Kiss from a lady, huh? I'd say a kiss from Bambina is much sweeter. Hmm. Uh, Debito, step away from her and stop trying to seduce my lady! Seduce? This is just a greeting. Your greetings are completely <laughs> improper! And you call yourself a man of regalo? You're too rigid, you stuffed shirt. You're not a kid, so shut your mouth. <laughs> now then, since we're done eating, I guess it's time for this. Yay, yeah, yeah, go yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of the way! Why the hell are you being so serious? Playing against children. Oh, 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 oh. Nice try, you one eye. Stop him, Liberta. Oh, I got it. You think you can stop me? They call me Regalos Mangostano. The lady. So Sorry about that. You hit the jackpot. I mean, Luca. <gasps> Are you trying to kill me, Pache? Are you insane? I said I was sorry. What do you <laughs> mean, sorry? What if that shot had hit Milady, or even worse, the children? Uh -huh. Not to mention, the Piccolino is an event to entertain the children. Your entertainment comes you okay? after that. You okay, princess? Do you hear me? Yes. Look what you did to my face. Wretched. Terrible. The wind. What do you mean, the wind? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, let's hurry up and continue the game. Yeah, I'll be right there. Hmm. How stupid. Hmm? May I come in? Mama? I came here to scold you today. 
You didn't go to the Piccolino again this year. I have work to do. Hmm? <sighs> the truth of it is, I don't know how to interact with the children. Hmm. To be able to think of nothing and just have fun playing with them. It's easier said than done. For me. Nova. It's no good. It's just getting worse. We should probably hurry, shouldn't we? Are you all ready? <laughs> yeah. We'll split up the kids into groups, depending on where they live, and see that they get home safe. Princess and Liberta, watch over the remaining. Just leave it to us! Now then, what should we do until Debito and the others return? Don't look so scared. You're children of Regalo. Storm shouldn't bother you. Uh, I know. You should go to them. You're worried about the children of the church, aren't you? It's written all over your face. Well, the three higher-ups, Luca and that idiot, are all with them. I'm not worried. You're so very kind. <laughs> Nova, kindness is nothing to be ashamed of. But it is a form of weakness. You're wrong. To be kind, to be weak, they both hold amazing power. But you have confined that power within a hard armor. However, we are the reason that happened. Mama, let's not talk about that. The responsibility that I and Mondo have for taking away your childhood is rather heavy. <sighs> However, let me say this despite knowing that. As long as you wear that armor, you won't be able to grow anymore. <clears throat> you should relax more, Nova. Stop being scared of hurting others or being hurt yourself. That may be the hardest thing for you, but you must take that chance, Nova. I want you to enjoy your life to the fullest. The way your heart desires. Good grief. There he goes. Storms are excellent, especially spring storms. It makes you feel like something is about to begin. The ship that carried the hero Liberta along with the mountain of cargo headed north on the Aegean Sea. However, soon after that, black clouds started to form and the ship was quickly engulfed by a gigantic storm. We're doomed, Dante! All hands on deck! Hurry! Aye, aye! Oh. What are you doing, Liberta? Hurry up and come down! No, stay there! I'm coming to get you! Dante! Oh. Oh. And then? Uh. What happened next? Oh, uh, all right. Let me see... What did happen? Hmm? What happened to the captain? Was he okay? Oh, yeah. Dante was, uh... The captain was fine, thanks to the hero. How did the captain survive? What did the hero do? Uh... Um... Liberta? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm not too smart, so I forgot. What? Huh? Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Damn it. It's just getting worse out there. This should be all of them. You two head back to the mansion. Right. I'm leaving it up to you to escort Bambina back safely. Got it! All right. Checking complete. 
Let's go home, princess. Hmm. But you know, it really seems like a ghost could probably... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nova! What the hell are you doing here? Where are the children? They're gone. Debito and the others got them home safely. I see. We're about to head back, too. Do you want to... So you say all of the children have gone home? Uh, yeah. Then explain who that is. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's your name? It's Elmo. Where do you live, Elmo? We'll take you home. <gasps> you seem rather thin to me, and your face looks a little pale. Really? You think so? I think you worry too much. Really? Um, I wanted to ask her a question about something. Do you mean me? Uh-huh. I've been feeling a little weird recently. My chest started thumping all of a sudden. Do you know what's wrong with me? What is this feeling? Am I sick? Huh, you don't seem to have a fever. Actually, you're freezing cold. It would be bad if he caught a cold. Go find something to warm him up. There was a blanket in the basement. I'll go get it. Uh, miss, hmm. It's just, I've never felt this way before. Why am I thinking about that now? Sorry about the wait! <laughs> Where's Elmo? I'm going home now. Huh? What do you mean you're going home? Hang on a sec. We'll take you home. I'll go. Thanks anyway, mister. But I'll be all right on my own. Don't be stupid. It's storming outside. Goodbye now. He disappeared! <laughs> By some weird coincidence, he wouldn't happen to be the ghost of the church that Devito mentions, would he? <laughs> Today, you're part of the Arcana Familia. Yeah! Once I'm in the family, I'm gonna be as strong as you, Dante! <laughs> that won't be easy. I can do it. I'm gonna become strong no matter what. Coming to you, Dante. I guess even the fish know who's stronger, huh? That must be why they keep floundering my way. Because they're fish. Huh? You get it? Oh. So, how have you been since? Since what? S you said you had a headache. Oh, that. I don't know what that was about. But after I slept, it got better. I haven't had one since. That's good to hear, but don't push yourself. Looking after your health is very- I know, sheesh. Hey, Liberta, huh? the lady is here. Okay, I'll be right there. I'll rest when I need to rest, okay? Later. Miss Giovanna, huh? Yes. She happens to be a long-time friend of Mama. Giovanna gave me a lovely brooch, so I'd like you to give her this scarf as a thank you. Would you please, Felicita? But still, I've never actually met her. 
Yeah, I think I've seen her two or three times. Mama has exquisite taste, so I'm sure Miss Giovanna will like it. But what the heck is up with this map? If we take all these detours, the sun will be down before we're there. Nova said he was too busy to go with us, so he drew that map for us. Huh? There's a faster way. What? Come on, princess, hurry up! Well, okay. Ah, feels great, mm. doesn't it? It does. And it's such a great view. Yeah, it's great when you can see both the city and the ocean. But being on the ocean is the best feeling in the world. Uh, the ocean? Sailing across the ocean feels amazing. It's incredible. Gazing at the endless ocean makes it seem like nothing else matters. There are no troubles, no boundaries. You feel like you're truly free. <laughs> well, half of that stuff I said's from Dante. <laughs> the two of you get along so well, like father and son. Well, we've known each other for a long time. I can be myself around him. How long have you two known each other? Hmm? I'm not really sure. Now that I think about it, I don't really remember. Why can't I recall? <laughs> oh, yeah. We shouldn't be dawdling up here. Let's go, princess. Forgetting something important? Liberta! In front of you! Huh? What? Uh, 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 are you okay, princess? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, uh, sorry! I, uh, uh, it's my fault for not paying attention! No, it's fine. <sighs> it's not fine at all. Huh? Uh... Hey, hey, come one, come all. Hey there, Signorina. We've got tons of great things. Come on, princess, speak up. No one will come if you just stand there. Huh? Oh, welcome, everyone. With a smile, come on. Welcome with a smile. What in the world are they doing? Oh, thank you very much! Oh, we really don't have time to be doing this. Pardon me, can I get this flower? Yes, ma'am! Oh, oh, Miss Giovanna! Oh. Huh? Yes? Oh, we're finally done! So tired! Sorry, Princess. It's my fault we got into this weird mess. Mm -mm. It's fine. Plus, we gave Miss Giovanna her scarf. Yeah. I guess if we'd gone to her house, she wouldn't have been there. It was only coincidence, but I'm glad we saw her. Maybe it's part of your powers, Princess. Huh? Well, I can't really put my finger on it. But things seem to fall perfectly into place when you're around. You really think so? Yeah, I do. That has to be it. It's because of you, princess. <laughs> well, well, thanks to you two, my sales have doubled. And as my thanks to you, please take whatever you like. <gasps> A mask? Yeah, I like them. I grew up in an orphanage. That's where I met a huge masked man. I don't really remember it all that well, but he's the one who finally took me out of the orphanage. He was so awesome. And you've liked them since? Yeah. When I look at masks, I feel like someday maybe I can be strong and cool like that guy. Mm. Then what's wrong? The 
this mask. I've seen it before. Oh, you would find that rare item, wouldn't you? Is it expensive? Yeah, it's from the Nord country. Apparently, a long time ago, there was an orphanage there that did terrible things to children. There's a tale of a hero wearing that mask that saved the children. <gasps> Dante! You could at least knock, you know. Sorry, but take a look at this. I really wanted you to see it, too. Isn't it cool? <gasps> I told you about when I was at the orphanage, and a masked guy came and saved me, right? You think this might be the same mask? Huh? Hey, what the heck? I thought you'd like it. There was a report from Nova. Huh? I hear you fell from a roof. How dare you put the lady in danger like that? Yeah, that was... It's all because of that stupid map Nova drew. Enough! Huh? Don't put the blame on others. At this rate, you'll always be a child. You need to put more effort into refining yourself and becoming stronger. <laughs> oh, good grief. Such beautiful love between the teacher and student. <laughs> Julie. I'm terribly sorry you had to see that, milady. Was there something else to add? Mm -mm. <laughs> she saw into your heart. Impossible. Milady is still growing. Just like your student. The new Dolce from that place is really good. The strawberry and custard cream is delicious. You should definitely try it when you have a chance, milady. Mm. Huh? Hmm? Tell us, is something the matter, milady? Huh? Oh, it's... It's nothing, really. I'm sorry for making you worry. Never a worry. We're always here for you, milady. It must be hard in a man's world. But we're here if you need to talk. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey! Princess! <laughs> Believe me, it's not because Dante said it. But I made the decision to live by the sword, so I thought I needed to be stronger. I see. Not to mention... I thought I might be able to remember more if I became stronger. Huh? Remember the guy in the mask and more about my past and other things. <laughs> you don't need to worry. I'll become stronger and win the duelo. Deal? <laughs> Unfortunately, I know nothing about Liberta and Dante's past. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I see. Even if I did know, that business is between the two of them. It's not our place to interfere. I know that, but I just... Sir Nova, it's time for the patrol. Understood. I'll be right there. If you're that concerned, you should ask him yourself. Hey there, Fukalata. What is it? You've got a message, huh? It appears I've underestimated your powers, milady. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to read your heart. But I was just so worried about Liberta. 
and wanted to do whatever I could to help. Thank you, milady. What the hell? Oh, hello, if it isn't Liberta. Huh? Come on. What the hell is with the long face? Perfect timing. You should come with us, Liberta. Thank you for the meal! <clears throat> Seconds, please! Come on now. If you don't hurry up and eat, Pache's gonna eat it all, little brat. I'm gonna eat, and I'm not a brat! Then you would be wise to eat a lot, so you will feel better soon. Oh, jeez, I'm fine to begin with. If that's the case, good. You know what will happen if Milady happened to become sad looking at your dreary face, don't you? Or need I remind you? Seconds, please! Hurry! There's a fire! I met Liberta ten years ago, in the Nord country. Casa Bianca. From the outside, it looked like a normal orphanage. But behind the facade, they were conducting various experiments on those children. And apparently, since Liberta had powers, the way they treated him was even more inhuman. <laughs> Everyone hurry! Hurry up, this way! We have to hurry and put out the fire. I'm back! Good work. Now we can... Liberta! <gasps> Who the hell are you? The power of the word. Power of the word? If he wishes something to break, it will break. If he wishes something to disappear, it can disappear. Does Liberta know about this? There's no reason he would. Huh? Hey! Why are you just standing? Mister, are you here to study me like the others? No. I came here to save you. Save me? Wanna come with me, kid? <gasps> but how? How the hell did I forget something so important? As soon as Liberta was away from the orphanage, he gradually became happier, and was able to interact with those on the ship. But there were times, the wounds in his heart would cause him to lose control of his powers, going berserk. I used my Arcana power to seal away his memories, and Mondo himself sealed away his power. But why? If he does not grow up and become stronger, then I will not undo the seal. Please keep this a secret from Liberta, milady. Oh, hey, princess. Glad you're here. I remember now about the time I met the masked man. But bits and pieces are still blurry. So I have a request. Just this once, would you please read my heart? Maybe you can see the parts I can't remember. But... Please! 
I can't. Huh? <sighs> Felicita? I wonder why we even have them. Hmm? Why we have Arcana powers. Mm. I have something to ask you. What is it? About the masked man. It was you, huh? wasn't it? Did Milady tell you? Huh? So she knew as well? I'm the only one who didn't know? Why did you erase my memories? Is it because I can't control my powers? You thought I'd lose control again! Is that it? Well, Liberta, I'm afraid I don't think you've become strong enough to be able to accept your past. Am I wrong? <sighs> Don't decide for me. Well, at least you're well enough to call people names. What do you mean? I'm always fine. That's so. Well, that's good to hear. Felicita was worried sick, you know. I thought you were going to become stronger for Felicita's sake. So become stronger. Huh? Then no one will have anything to complain about. What's his problem? Smells so good. Yeah, it's irresistible. You're not likely to find something this delicious anywhere else in the world. I guarantee it. It's Regalo's treasure. Hmm? Sorry about the wait, everyone. <gasps> Lemon pie! So delicious that it holds its own against those sold in shops. And you know, Milady helped out today as well. Please make sure you enjoy every bite. <gasps> Thank, Thank you, you for, for the meal! meal. I'm so good! Hey, Luca, what's with the small serving? He has a point. Uh, yeah? I want to eat more! Oh, goodness. That's why I, I asked you to fully pie. enjoy every bite. Hmm? Uh, uh. My apologies, milady, but could you help me for a moment? Oh, sure. The incident from the other day is still bothering you? Fel has nothing to do with your past, or your issue with Dante. I suppose that's true, but things are just awkward now. <laughs> you do realize that all of this happened because you can't face yourself, right? Then what about you, huh? What do you mean? I mean, are you able to face yourself? I have no reason to tell you. You can't see where you're going with that, can you? Oh, Nova. What's in the boxes? Lemon pies. Mama and everyone else said they'd like some too, so I thought I'd bring some. Where's Luca? Pie, well... pie, pie, pie. Luca, I want more lemon pie! Luca! Okay, pie, okay, pie, okay, pie, okay! I thought I could at least deliver them, since he was busy and all. Uh, Nova? If you were to fall or trip or something, you'd ruin all the pies. Well, thank you. Sitting here eating lemon pie like this reminds me of when you both were little. Um, Mama, could you not bring up the past? 
Oh, there's no need to be embarrassed. I remember, too. Mm. I remember the first day you came to our house, Nova. What's the matter, Nova? Come over here. Yes. We're going to be a family, so there's no need to hold back anymore. A family? Hmm? Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm? Here is the lemon pie that Milady made. You made it for the first time with Luca for Nova, right? Yes! He gets to eat Felicitas cooking before me? <laughs> oh, don't be so sad. Nova is her future husband, after all. Here! Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, I'm so glad. Now, you have a seat too, Felicita. Let's all eat together. That was the first time I felt the warm feeling of being in a family. Japanese flowers are so pretty. I sometimes ask Mama to share some of hers like this. Really? Mama also mentioned that there are flowers called sakura in Japan as well. Sakura? Yes. Apparently when they're in full bloom, the areas they grow in all turn pink. I'd like to see that one day. You really like Japan, don't you? No, that's because I have many interests in all sorts of things. <laughs> hey, do you have any fertilizer for your flowers? No. Then I'll show you a place to get some after work, okay? Huh? You should come with us on the patrol tomorrow. You're in the upper echelon, so it'd be helpful to see the other departments. Oh, oh thank you. I'd be honored. Today, our patrol will concentrate on the shopping district. All of you need to pay very close attention to the conversations and actions of the people. Got it? Sir! Sure. Oh, wow. <sighs> How's your little pupil been doing? It's unusual for you to care about others, isn't it? Usually I would have no interest. However, since this involves Liberta as well as Milady, I'm quite intrigued about the prospect. An interesting experiment might be possible. Woohoo! In your face, I win again! And because of your fool luck, I'm losing business. And now I can eat lots and lots and lots of lasagna. I'll treat you to some too, Debito. Yeah, sure, thanks. I told you, I can't find hmm? it anywhere. My wallet is missing. I'm sure someone stole it. Huh? Uh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just thought you're really amazing, that's all. Huh? You do a great job as the head of Holy Grail and bringing your men together. And you don't expect anything less from yourself. Of course. I've been entrusted with an important task. I need to work harder, too, I guess. Not to mention my Arcana powers haven't stabilized yet. You were going to ask why we have Arcana powers, weren't you? Yeah. You know, at times, I don't know myself. Oh, I'm so sorry, I... <sighs> Check out that guy. Huh? <laughs> well, that was easier than I thought. Hey! Huh? I don't think this belongs to you. 
I cannot ignore the actions of those who threaten the peace of our island. Depending on the situation, I'm not afraid to use force. Sounds fun. Try it, little boy. What's with that flimsy sword? I've seen that. It's one of those Japanese katanas. Yeah, you know, I hear there's even some woman from Japan that's in the Arcana Familia. <laughs> if they're letting the woman lead, the family's doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you have to say before you die? It can't be. You're Samurai Nova, aren't you? I will not forgive those who insult Papa and Mama. Same here. We agree for once. Well, screw this! <laughs> Here. Here's your wallet. Thank you very much. I thought I'd never see it again. You're a lifesaver, thank you. It appears I'm now indebted to the Holy Grail. I crossed the line. My apologies. No, please. You are rather helpful. Not to mention, I sincerely admire your strong sense of honor. Well, thank you. However, make sure you praise Bambina for what she did today. Oh. He's right, you know. It was all thanks to her arcana powers. A woman blooms when she's given praise. Oh. Fertilizer for the flowers. We were so busy dealing with the thieves, so I had one of my subordinates go buy it. Oh, thanks so much, Nova. Hey, what was that earlier? Earlier? You know, the thing you did to make the thieves unconscious. Oh, striking them with the back of my sword? It's a Japanese move that Mama instructed me on. Using it, no blood will be shed and Regalo will remain clean. That's amazing. <laughs> of course it is. You and Mama get along really well, huh? Huh? Mama is really nice to all the members of the family, but I think she expects greater things from you. You don't understand anything. Huh? Seriously, you have no clue how much everyone expects from you. I believe that Papa brought up the Arcana Duelo in order to make you the family's heir become stronger. Work hard so you can meet those expectations. Listen well, Nova. You must make a good impression at the meeting today. Mm -hmm. You are the young lady's cousin and betrothed. Eventually, our family will replace Mondo and take control of Regalo. It'll be all right, Nova. They'll like you. You have all of the qualifications and the strength. Yes, mother, father. Why am I having these dreams now? <clears throat> Who is it? Pardon, may I have a word? <sighs> Are you all right, milady? Huh? Were the Holy Grail's duties difficult for you? Oh, no. No, that's not it. It's hard to become friends with people. Supposedly, the money is being used for research fees, but the amount seems rather high. Improper use of funds, huh? Thank you for the report. I will figure something out. You may leave. Very well. Now then, how am I going to look into this? Huh? Oh. Oh, now who is it? Oh. May I have a word with you, please? You are too hard on Milady. For example, even yesterday, Milady wanted to become closer to you, and you only pushed her away. I cannot forgive this. 
Did she say something about this? No, because she didn't have to. Let me ask you, just how long do you think I've been her attendant? I acknowledge that she's trying hard. If that's the way you feel, you should just tell her that. She can't be content with her present state. She has more work to do. I understand your difficult position. For example, your engagement to Milady being voided, and your parents. But I don't think that justifies you being cold to Milady. I'm not trying to be cold. As much as I am against this notion, I'd like you to become friendlier with Milady. What do you mean? Milady, please come in. I had Luca show me how to cook something. Oh, since you've helped me out so much. Here you go. It's good. Really? Yeah. What kind of soup is this? It's chickpea soup, Nova. What? Why in the world would you pick this soup to serve to me? Luca said it was delicious and very nutritious. Mm. Make sure you eat all of Milady's delicious cooking. <sighs> Disregarding the ingredients, it was good. I thank you. I'm glad. I have a favor to ask of you. Even if you're discovered, you'll still be able to gather information without bringing too much suspicion on yourself. I'd like you to check for anything suspicious and for things that don't belong in a lab, and please be thorough in your search. I don't want to doubt another family member. So I would like you to dispel that doubt. Why? May I ask what you're doing? <laughs> I change the lock every now and then, you see. After you. I'm assuming the security director sent you? Probably to expose the improper use of funds by the research lab. <laughs> You're so easy to read. Here, this is all of it. Feel free to come back as often as you like. I won't run or hide. I'll be right here. I'll take these documents. She can look at as many documents as she likes. But I can't have you found just yet, little one. So he already knew of my plan. That would be my fault. I apologize for that. Hmm. Since he provided these documents, it's hard to say how trustworthy they are. Oh, what's this? Oh. Why does Jolie have this? I don't... What are they? They're my parents' clinical charts. I see. Your parents... But why does Jolie have them? I don't know. I'd like to know myself. Oh. Maybe Jolie is researching a cure. You know, something that could help with their illness. No, he's not. They're not ill. Huh? The truth is different. They've been asleep for all of these seven years. <gasps> They're asleep because I put them to sleep. With my arcana powers. With the power of death. I'm sure that you who grew up with the love of Mama and Papa couldn't understand. <gasps> my parents used me. They wanted to use my arcana powers so that ultimately they could take over the family. They only thought of me as a tool for moving up. Not only that, they wanted to kill Mama and Papa. I wanted to protect them. 
and I couldn't forgive my parents. By the time I realized what was going on, I lost control. But this is what I wished for. I don't have any doubts that I did the right thing. <gasps> What's wrong? Why are you crying? Because you aren't going to cry. You grew up being loved by a family. I grew up as a tool to help them move up. The difference is obvious. I thank you for worrying about me at all. But leave me alone. I am still weak. I knew I'd have to tell her one day. But I ended up lashing out at her. Nova, listen to me. Do you remember what it was that you gave Mondo and me when you decided to void your engagement to our precious Felicita? You can come for it whenever you'd like. It's there for you. I believe that Felicita will be there for you as well. Uh, she won't be able to understand how I feel. And honestly, I don't want her to. I thank you for worrying about me and all. <laughs> but would you please just leave me alone for now? Ciao! But I want to do something for them. <laughs> Liberta. The only ones summoned to this emergency meeting are those of the upper echelon of each Siri. Why are you here? Dante isn't here. He's out dealing with negotiations. Negotiations? This is news to me. <laughs> Let's hurry. Uh, right. You're late! What the hell are you so annoyed about? Nothing in particular. I just don't want to waste time. Now then, let us begin. Pirates have landed on Regalo Island. Pi? Pi, Ritz. And they have kidnapped someone of importance and are on the run. Someone of importance? Yes. Mondo's older brother, Moreno. Uh. Papa's older brother? Wait. You mean Nova's dad? As you all know, he can't escape on his own. That's right. Nova's father has been in a coma due to a severe illness. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't care. It's the truth. <sighs> They're asleep because I put them to sleep. What do you think they're after? Who knows? I can't see a possible motive whatsoever. <sighs> We're going to wait for their next move. So for the time being, just sit tight. How can you all handle this so leisurely? Shut up! Huh? You are not to make a move until instructed. Why, you... you damn stupid stubborn chickpea! Stop calling me a chickpea! What the hell's wrong with you? Your father's been kidnapped! Step up and save him! If it were me, I would go. If I didn't, I'd regret it for the rest of my life! Don't forget your place. Hey, wait! You dumbass! My place has nothing to do with this! 
Or are you going to say that you don't care what happens to your father? Is that what you're telling me? Of course I care what happens to him. Uh, then why aren't you going, huh? Let's go save him. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. If the three of us go, everything should work out. Huh? The three of us? You're not too bright. You, Princess, and me, duh. <laughs> if all three of us go, then we'll be able to save him and make it back safely. Exactly. Uh. Then follow me. We're going to the harbor. <laughs> Told ya, you were worried about him. So you're certain your dad's being held on that ship? I'm sure I had the Holy Grail's Coast Guard look into it for me. That boat isn't gonna row itself. Not sensing anyone's presence at all. Let's split up and look for him. No. We don't know how many of them there are. It'd be unwise to split up without knowing. <laughs> well, that's interesting. By the way, how long is the hostage in the cellar going to be asleep? I hear he's been asleep for years. For years? Why? I heard death's got his soul. <laughs> <laughs> On your guard, Princess. You too, Liberta. There's still so many. Leave it to me. Nova, leave these guys to us. Hurry and find your dad. Oh. That's my line. Huh? You actually think the two of you could handle this many? Ugh. So we can't do it? But you're saying that you can? But I have the power of death. Ugh. Nova! You're in the way. <sighs> Go! All right, fine. Come on, princess. <laughs> La tenebrore adormentado! <laughs> now sleep! This is... 
Novus Arcana power? Oh. Nova! If you're going to go, hurry back. Because if I lose consciousness, my power will wear off. And all of them will wake up. Did you say they'll... they'll wake up? Uh, the reason my parents are still asleep is because I lost control of my powers. <gasps> Liberta. <clears throat> Hurry! Are you going to be okay if we leave you here by yourself? <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? Let's hurry. Yeah, right. Princess, <laughs> remember earlier when I told you I would live by my sword? and not use my powers. Why are you bringing that up now? The truth is, that's just an excuse, because I'm scared. What? Nova reminded me. If he hadn't used his Arcana powers, then there's no way we would have gotten out of that situation. I guess there is a difference between not wanting to use them and not being able to use them. Liberta, did you forget what you told me? Uh, what I told you? Even if you can't now, you will be able to someday. Isn't that right? <laughs> it's kind of odd, you know, but when you say that, I actually feel like I will. Really? And I've said this before. Huh. That you have powers, princess. You somehow make everything just work out, you know? Princess, is this Nova's father? Yes, I'm sure of it. Must stay conscious. So, you can make a face like that too, I see. Oh, and what kind of face are you talking about? I'm sorry. Huh? I mean, there's no way a child wouldn't care about what happens to one of their parents. Use their Archon of Powers? 
Just shut up and watch! Listen. Did you forget? We came here to save your dad and make it back safely! Now you've got me to deal with, too! I have no intention of losing. Oh. With Princess by my side. <laughs> Do you really think it's wise to look so confident? Let's teach him a lesson, Liberta! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hand in numbers princess I'll hold him off use that opening I can't throw these They're blocking my shot now princess And it's all thanks to you. No! Princess! I can do it too. Here it goes! Pensiero realizzare! Thanks for your hard work, men. It's for the run, after all. Putting on this little act was no big deal. I'm afraid this is as far as I can help you. You three need to realize exactly how weak you are and try your best to grow. And become stronger in time for the Arcana Duelo. Princess! You're not hurt, are you? In a place like this, it'd be more awkward if she wasn't hurt. Why do you always have to take that tone? <laughs> the mansion's underground cellar? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jolie! Is my father safe? Where's the masked man? We managed to secure Moreno. I haven't seen a report regarding a masked man. What? When you three and Morena were discovered at the harbor, apparently there was no trace of the pirate ship anywhere to be found. <sighs> I'd like to say it was a job well done, but disobeying orders is still disobeying orders. Normally you'd get a more severe punishment. However, given your achievements, I'll let you off with one night and two days in the underground cellar. You should be thanking me. What? I agree. Huh? I must say that you three are very lucky. What do you mean? I just thought the whole incident seemed like a test for you to use your arcana powers. Oh. Oh. Of course, that's just how it played out in the end. <laughs> 
Now that I think about it, I used my Arcana powers. You used your powers? He did. Huh? And it's because of both of your Arcana powers that we were able to save Uncle and return <laughs> safely. Wait a minute. Why does Jolie know everything that happened on the ship anyway? <laughs> what? You're going home already? The night's just begun. I'm not letting you go until morning. I'm glad to hear that. But as they say, save the best for last. I'm delighted to be at your service this evening. I promise I'll make this up to you. Next time we'll go until noon, not just morning. It was nice to finally hear from you again. Shame that it was only for this, though. Thanks. Are you sure you don't have any intention of coming home whatsoever? I don't. Because my family's here, right here. How pretty. I'm glad you like it, milady. <laughs> this smells like caraway, I think. What kind of medicine is this? It's a secret. You're weird, Luca. Milady, please always stay just as you are, my own beloved lady. But the reason I would. Hey, princess! There's a letter from Mama! Uh, huh? Oh, milady? Well, I'm afraid I haven't seen her since this morning. She should have the day off today. The lady mentioned this morning that she was going somewhere with Luca. Do you know where they went? No idea. She didn't say. Mm -hmm. Milady? She apparently went somewhere with Luca this morning. Do you have any idea where they went, Martha? I haven't heard anything. What did you need with Milady? Mama asked us to deliver this to Fel in person. The both of you? I wouldn't be with this chickpea if that weren't the case. Hey. Ugh. Don't call me a chickpea. You two get along so well. No, we don't! Oh, by the way, when you see Luca, can you ask him to pick up some caraway for me? Mm -hmm. The herb? Yeah. It seems that someone has used up all the caraway I had in stock. Seriously? You think that someone was trying to make a love potion? Love potion? Let's go. Uh, oh, right. Don't you think Mama's being a little excessive? Make sure you both deliver this to her in person, she says. I mean, jeez. It's because she couldn't count on you to do it alone. You're saying that I'm unreliable? Oh, who knows? Hmm. Hmm. At this hour. Pache? Actually, I can't say that I've seen him yet today. Well, that failed. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, um, yeah, before you leave. <sighs> Why is it our responsibility to pay Pache's tab exactly? Pache's part of the family, so we had to take care of it. The only other person who might know where Princess and Luca are... Oh, Debito! Move! Uh, hold it! What happened? That girl is a thief. She cheated at the casino. All right. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Wait! Oh, yeah. That's effective. No one. Thanks. You guys are lifesavers. If I'd botched things in the capo's absence, he'd be furious. No telling what he might do. You mean Debito? Bingo. No wonder. Mm -hmm. huh? That was so easy. What? Ciao! Hey, what do you mean, ciao? Huh? Oh. 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 Wait! Come back here! Damn it! Talk about hard to walk! I know, and at this rate, we won't be able to split up and look for her. How inefficient. We've got no choice. But we did check all the obvious places, right? Oh, where are you two huh. headed holding hands? Uh, 
Are those the coins, handcuffs? <laughs> How troublesome for you. You won't be able to get those off without Debido's keys. Yeah, we know. So what are you doing here anyway? Is there some kind of law saying I'm not allowed to walk around during the day by myself? Well, I guess not. I'm shopping. It would appear that someone has used up the stock of caraway I need to make some medicines. Caraway? Hey, I heard you can make a love potion from that. Are you planning on making some and having Milady drink it? No, of course not! I was just curious is all. <laughs> it must be Luca. Uh, Luca? Hmm? Yes, he'd be able to make one that's extremely potent. Hmm, now I see. So that's why the caraway has gone missing. Uh, we're going to go find Princess! <clears throat> hey, wait a minute! <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. The bears have calmed down. Don't let Jolie's words get to you. That would be your weakness. Huh? You think about things too much instead of acting. It's better than leaping into things head first. <sighs> Aren't you worried about Princess at all? Of course I'm worried. But running around blindly doesn't help. We need to find some clues first. What do you mean, clues? You seem troubled. Huh? You are looking for a girl with red hair. Are you not? There is only one path to find what you seek. Look for the golden-haired Athena that brings glory to the flowers of Regalo. The, the goddess's, goddess's white ball of yarn will, will be what leads, leads you down, down the path, path you cannot see. see. What the hell does that mean? It's a simple riddle. The flowers of Regalo refers to the women of this island. We have to find the one who brings them glory. Not to mention, Athena is the goddess of weaving. It's simple, Regalo's golden-haired goddess of weaving is... Oh. Did something good happen? Mondo. <laughs> Why don't you try and guess? Hmm. Felicita happened to say, Papa, I love you, in her sleep. What a doting father. She'll dislike you even more. Duh. Actually... <laughs> That's perfect. My wife is quite the schemer. I just want them to get along. I am, after all, like their mother, you know. Jeez. First Dante, now you. We have quite a group. Liberta and Nova are both doing their best to overcome themselves. By spending time with each other, I'm hoping they will come to understand each other's differences and learn to respect each other. Then both of their arcana powers should become stronger. To be honest, I wanted them to be able to relax a little. You're right. Time is limited. <laughs> I am a truly happy man. I have the best wife, the best daughter, and the best family. I have more than what most people can obtain in a lifetime. So, my Madam Butterfly, please don't look like that. All right, everyone, we're almost there. Uh huh? <sighs> <sighs> I think this every year, but this is too far away. No kidding. I know it's so we can do this behind Jolie's back and all, but... Behind Jolie's back? Indeed I am. I'm sure that you're aware that I'm growing a nice variety of herbs for alchemy in the yard, correct? Yes. That terrible person uses them without my permission, and in huge quantities. Well, he believes what's yours is mine. So, I made a small herb garden out here, where he can't find it. You could call it Luca's secret base. And we all get dragged out here once a year to help you harvest all your little herbs. I had no idea. Milady? Hmm? Even someone like me has a secret or two. Huh? Luca, come on, let's take a break. I'm so hungry, I have absolutely no strength left. Didn't you bring a bit too much? Well, in addition to lunch, there's the morning snack, then the noon snack. 
And then the three o'clock snack, of course. Wait a minute, that's all food! Yes, and this year there's one more thing. What? <laughs> it's a secret. And with that, ta-da! The morning snack is cannoli stuffed with ricotta cheese. It's wonderful. So how is it? I bought them from the best mm. shop in Regalo. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's delicious. Delicious, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pache! Huh? What? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> Even I've never done anything like that to a lady! <laughs> Why exactly do the two of us have to follow some cat around? I'm not fond of the idea either. So the golden-haired goddess was Miss Federica, and I even get that the white ball of yarn was supposed to represent the cat. But it's not exactly a dog. Since it's supposed to lead us down a path we cannot see, we've no other choice. Well done. Very brave of you. But Bambina, there is nothing to worry about. All the traps that have been laid here are ones devised by Luca. Oh, really? They're to keep Jolie away. Pache, you fell for this exact trap last year. You need to remember these things already. Not possible. This bird brain will forget everything after taking three steps. Could you please say something in my defense, Princess? Luca, isn't this going a bit too far? Don't worry. Actually, this really wouldn't be enough for Jolie. Do you not mm. like Jolie? He's your teacher in alchemy, isn't he? Mm. Indeed. That man is a genius alchemist. But I cannot admire him. Please keep your distance from him, milady. Luca. <laughs> I think I'm hungry again, guys. Well, enough chit-chat. Let's all hurry back to the herb garden so we can have some lunch. There's a shock. Can we just hurry up and get out of this annoying place? Uh, no. Debito, not there! Huh? Uh, why does it always have to be me? Come on! Goodness, you two. What am I gonna do? Come on now, we're almost there. Please mind the traps by your feet. We don't want any more accidents. So tired. Someone let me down! All the way out here? Damn, it's no use. What the heck are you doing? Well, I was just seeing if I could get this out with my left hand somehow. But I guess I can't. How stupid. Hey! We may need it, you know. I have a bad feeling about this. Indeed. It's best to be on our guard. But if something happens, I'll fight with this. We don't need your sword. Not needed, huh? <laughs> meow, meow. Let's go. Yeah. Woohoo! Lunch time! Here. Huh? If any will not work, neither uh. let him eat. All right, everyone. It's time for super happy fun harvesting times! Why are you so excited? There's a certain herb that I'd like to harvest before lunch. Pache, please go over there. Debito, will you please go over there? What can I do to be of help? Oh, of course, milady. It would be so perfect if you would just stand right there, milady. You gotta be kidding, right? Your fever for milady has finally gone critical. Come on, let me help too. Let's hurry up and finish so we can have lunch. Yes, of course, milady. <laughs> Debito, what kind of foolish method is that? And I'm spent. Oh, is it time for lunch yet, Luca? Please, try to hold out a little longer. According to my calculations, we should be almost done. Are you sure everything is going to be all right? Is something going on? <laughs> I'm afraid it's still a secret, milady. Hmm? <laughs> my best work. I'm anxious to see the results.
Well, it's a good thing you're short, Chickpea. Hey. Move your leg into the way. Yeah, yeah, almighty Nova. This isn't good. If it was Luca who set such elaborate traps. I guess it means he's pretty serious, huh? Meow. Uh, hold on! Meow. I'm borrowing this! Ooh, Japanese swords aren't bad, Nova. The Berta, you... Hey, Nova! Huh? Let's go! Yeah. <sighs> Princess! Felicita! Huh? Welcome to the party. You're late. Hey, thanks for all the hard work! Huh? What was that scream? Oh, uh, there was a bug in her apple. Thank you for your hard work. It would appear that the potion worked quite well. That's right, the potion. It's a potion that Mama asked me to make. However, it's only effective on cats. I left a trail with it leading to us. Mama asked you? Indeed. Come to think of it, we were trying to deliver Mama's letter to the princess. <laughs> what do you mean? In short, this was all a surprise from Mama for Bambina and the two little kids. Or... You could say you fell for her scheme. Right. All of us naughty adults were nothing more than Mama's accomplices. Did you have fun? Uh. Huh? It wasn't bad. Huh? We're finally free! Sorry about earlier. Huh? For using your sword without asking permission first. That was an emergency, and I used your sword as well. There's no need to apologize. Uh, hmm? Hey, princess, <gasps> what did Mama say? Huh? huh? Fell? <laughs> huh? Hmm? Oh? It looks like something good happened, Miss Sumiri. All thanks to your wonderful acting, Miss Giovanna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, line up. Debbie Doe, don't look so scary. That was your secret luggage? Yeah, this was the first time that someone other than the three of us came to this secret base. So I wanted to have a record of this momentous occasion. Come on, everyone, smile. It's the super fun souvenir photograph. All right, here we go. Uno, due, tre, lasagna! Luca and Debito haven't changed at all, have they? Don't worry, Mom. We're all pretty happy. A momentous occasion? You gotta be kidding me, Pache. They all look great. I've got to start distancing myself from the lady soon. <sighs> Indeed. Children grow into adults before you know it. I went to Luca's herb garden with the Berta today. It was a rough trip. But we had a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll become stronger. I'll become stronger so I can... Oh, Mama. To my precious daughter, please reward these brave young men with a kiss. On the cheek, of course. Love, Mama. <laughs> All right. But 
There really is something surprising about your growth, Elmo. It truly is interesting. Really? Of course. You acquired language rather quickly, and considerable knowledge. <laughs> it's because the books in your room are interesting, I guess. The books on alchemy were difficult, though. I see. You're very uh. bright, Elmo. <laughs> But, it's better that I have more insurance. Uh, hey. Hmm? I have a request. What is it? Well, maybe I could go out into the city with you sometime, shall we? Is that too much? Hmm. <laughs> Jolie was out walking with a child. Mm-hmm. It must have been someone else. I don't think so. I'm pretty positive it was him. He looked happy and was smiling. Inconceivable. <coughs> I can assure you, that man is not one to dote on children. Hmm. If possible, I would much prefer that you stay away from him in general. You said that the other day, too. I will pour tea into this cup and add honey to it. Huh? <gasps> the substance in the tea, called tannin, that gives tea its color, interacts with the honey's iron content, making it change color. Jolie drew this out of his research and showed it to me as a child. I remember it as if it were yesterday. As his student, I respected him for his techniques and his research. However, his character is different. Oh, Luca. Uh, uh, my sincere apologies, milady. It seems I've made you feel uncomfortable. However, in the past, Jolie... I'm sorry. One day I will explain to you, milady. <sighs> it amazes me that you can eat lasagna so early in the morning. Why don't you eat something too, Tepito? It'll make you feel better. No, thank you, my friend. Uh, Are you okay? It's been hurting so much that I can't sleep. Even if I'm able to sleep, doesn't matter. All I ever see anyway are nightmares. Hmm? But oh. I can't win against my sleepiness. I'm going home and try to get some sleep again. Maybe this time I'll actually have a pleasant dream. Miss! Princess! Wait a minute. That's the kid from... Apparently he snuck into the mansion somehow. I couldn't just send him away, so we've been playing. Right, Elmo? Yeah, I was told I could play outside today. I'm really happy to get the chance to see you again. <laughs> yeah, me too. We were worried about you after the Piccolino. You disappeared so suddenly. I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't want to worry Jolie or anything. Worry Jolie? Hey, could there be a chance that you two were... There you are. Uh Jolie! It's just about time for you to read your books, Elmo. Right. So it's true, you two do know each other. Actually, how do you two even know each other? Nothing to worry about. He's not illegitimate. Oh yes, perfect timing. If I may ask a favor, milady? What? I'd like you to deliver this to Debito and ask him to come to my lab. Oh. He doesn't seem to listen when I ask him myself. As the head of sword, I would be grateful if you'd fix that. Yes, all right. I'll leave it to you. Now let's go. All right. See you again, big sis, big bro. Apparently it's bothering him again. There's that thing with his eye, but more importantly, he says that he can't sleep. 
Oh, I see. I will try to make a medicine for him. It's the least I can do. I may be able to help him out a bit, at least. That'd be great, Luca. Even though it's probably better if Jolie takes a look at him, you know? I don't see that happening. Their dislike for one another is deep. Although I'm afraid it isn't just Debito. Yeah, you're right. A lot has happened between those two. If only there was something I could do about it. <laughs> Your existence itself is plenty, Pache. Huh. <laughs> Have you ever heard the story of the Moon Demon? Actually, the scary Moon Demon, Diavolo, lives here on Regalo. It all happened one stormy night. An orphan child came to this church. The young lad was in search of some sort of help. It was there that the child met the demon Diavolo. The child's soul was severed in two that day. One half became the demon's minion, who resides in the darkness. Even now, Diavolo's right eye gleams in search of his minion in this church. <gasps> See, right behind you. Bambina. Sorry, I heard your voice. I'm sorry for intruding. <sighs> if it was anyone else, I'd kill them. However, you're more than welcome in here, Bambina. You came to have a siesta with me, didn't you? What? No, I didn't. Huh? Bambina, you should be very glad that you're a signorina and a beautiful one. Debbie Toe? Don't look at me like that. I want you to tell the old man that my right eye is doing fine. So much so that I'd like to kill him very much. Go. Hmm. How interesting. Hmm? Huh? Well, well. <laughs> You're rather unexpected company. Do you have a minute? I'm torturing Debido? That's a rather harsh accusation. <laughs> I've only been researching all of your arcana powers. What you're doing may be for the family, but I'd rather you stopped making people suffer. Frankly, that's not the kind of help we need. <laughs> so, you understand. Uh, it's just as you said. This is all for the family. Uh, if it hasn't bothered you up to this point, surely you can deal with it now. Pache. Oh, hey there, princess. Is Jolie in his room? He is. What's wrong? He asked me to do something pertaining to Debito. Uh, I see. Thanks for your hard work. <laughs> um, Pache? Huh? Did something happen between Debito, Luca, and Jolie? Uh... <laughs> you don't need to worry about anything, princess. <laughs> so tell me, what did you want to talk about? Well, it's something having to do with Jolie. Again? What do you mean, again? You're always sticking your nose into other people's business. <clears throat> Wanting to know the truth about everyone and everything isn't always the right solution. Yes, but it was you who told me that I should be more aware of myself. Huh? 
As Papa's daughter, I'd like to know more about everyone. And I'd like to get along with everyone, if possible. You're asking for too much. What? I also think there's something suspicious about Jolie. The suspicion of money laundering? My parents' medical files? You can't approach him using normal methods. <laughs> However, you do have a point. <gasps> so then, what do you want to do specifically? <laughs> well, I don't know. Is there something we can all do? I think it'd be a good opportunity. Let me think. Oh, there you are. Oh. I've been looking for you guys. Yeah, what is it? Well, the priest asked if I wouldn't mind helping with cleaning the church. I wouldn't be able to do it myself, so I figured, hey, why don't I ask the other family members? That's it, Fel. Yes. Huh? Isn't there anything I can do for the two of them? Mom? curious if Jolie will even come. Inviting him was all you could do. Now the rest is up to him, so don't worry. Let me help. Uh, hey! Come on, let's get a move on. Uh. <sighs> What's with them? That's none of your concern. He has to overcome his problems on his own. Did you hear anything about Liberta's past? I didn't. You didn't hear anything? There's no need. Whether or not something is troubling him is really none of my business. But he is trying to overcome something personal. That is quite obvious. Damn it. Cleaning the church first thing in the morning? You've got to be kidding me. They always take care of us during the Piccolino, don't they? This is the least we can do. The Piccolino? Seriously? Come on, you know that we're the ones that take care of it. We're only able to do it because of this church. <sighs> Being here sure does bring back a lot of memories. Yes, indeed it does. I just hope they're not all bad memories, are they? I guess not. Oh! Oh, did you hurt yourself, chickpea? <laughs> Luca! Huh? Come here! Check this out! Hmm? Wow, that's nostalgic. So it's still here after all this time. What are you looking at? Pace, Luca, Debito. It's our initials that we carved into this years ago. Yeah, you see, at one time the three of us all lived in this church together. Along with Pace's mother. Well, those are good memories. Oh, wow! Those days of our youth were filled with peace and innocence. We were all supposed to be cleaning the church like we are today. Debito! Pache! Where did you two go? If we don't hurry and clean the church, the priest is going to scold us! Uh. Hey, you idiot! <laughs> I found you! <laughs> it took us forever to finish cleaning the church because these two wouldn't stop playing. Well, we were kids. Yeah, we were just kids. That's not an excuse, you two! You were lazy then and you're lazy now! <laughs> that really sounds like a lot of fun. You want to play hide-and-seek for old time's sake? But Pache! Uh, How about we play something much more interesting than some kid's game, uh, hey, Bambina? Damn it! Oh! <laughs> We won't be playing hide-and-seek or any other game! Do you understand? We came here to clean! <laughs> How disappointing. I was going to join in if you were going to play hide-and-seek. Hello, Jolie. 
What the hell are you doing here, old man? You're a... Now that was uncalled for. I simply can't ignore Milady's request. <laughs> Though I did think it was an excellent opportunity to check up on you since you wouldn't come to me. You shouldn't have come here, Jolie. Just seeing your face makes me sick in my gut. How dare you use us as your personal tools? You should try strengthening your heart. That is, if you actually want to kill me. Say what? If I were to have Milady there read your heart and point out all of your darkness and weaknesses, your <sighs> arcana powers would become stronger. <sighs> then you wouldn't have to rely on the amethyst I implanted in place of your right eye to have control of your arcana powers. <sighs> Jolie, stop this immediately! Don't you see that your words bring out others' animosity? You amuse me. You're still worried about a mentor like me after all of this. What a sweet child. <laughs> you wanted to get along with everyone in the family, did you not? I'll let you in on a little secret. Luca, Debido, and Pace all have their stigmata because of the experiments I conducted on them. <gasps> In my work, I experimented with many subjects on how, exactly, the Taroko chooses its host. These were the only three who were able to establish contracts. I have no reason to be hated by you. The reason any of you strangers were able to stay in the family is because I helped you establish contracts with the Taroko. Especially you. You're able to control your powers because of your right eye. You should be thanking me. <laughs> what do you say I blow a hole in your head right here and now? <laughs> How amusing. Do it. But can you defy me like that? <laughs> That's what I thought. There's no way that you could bring yourself to kill me. Stop this! <laughs> I know for a fact that Papa and the family are behind all of your research. I've been holding back all this time with that in mind. Debito and Luca, they've been holding back even more than me. But we cannot hold back any longer. I won't sit idly by doing nothing while my precious friends are being ridiculed! <laughs> Enough is enough, Jolie! I told you to deal with it for the sake of the family, Pache. Debito and Luca will one day be able to settle their own fights. But our fight will be settled right now! Fortitudo <laughs> to Pache! <laughs> is that all you have to say, Pache? Doing this has changed nothing. <sighs> Though you do have more to clean up now. What a beautiful friendship. See you all later. Cheer up! You only had good intentions, Princess. You know, those guys in Jolie would have butted heads sooner or later. It's not your fault, Fel. I wonder why Jolie conducted Taraco experiments on the three of them. Huh? I want to know why. Jolie is a member of the family that Papa chose. I don't think he's a bad person. Or you don't want to think of him as a bad person. <laughs> You're too nice, Fel. You know, that's what I like about you, Princess. Okay, Princess? Let's stop moping. Okay. What is that? <laughs> <gasps> Q. 
Curiosity killed the cat. He's an artificial human that I created. A homunculus. Milady? I hope I do not offend you, but it appears your mind is somewhere else. If something is bothering you, we'd be more than happy to listen. Looking so worried isn't like you, milady. He's an artificial human that I created. A homunculus. <laughs> Princess! What is it, you two? Entering without knocking it? It's an emergency. <gasps> And more come crawling in. What's the matter with you guys? You all came rushing in. Shh! You're going to wake Papa! Oh, sorry. <laughs> right now, the best thing for Mondo is for him to get plenty of rest. So sleep is the best thing? Meaning... Papa was just exhausted and he's sleeping? I was told that it was an emergency. Well... <sighs> Don't worry, it's still an emergency. Since he's doing excess work without consulting us. Hm. Don't worry, my kittens. Huh? Mama? <laughs> Leave Mondo to me. Just watch over Regalo, like you usually do. Everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, leave everything to me. Even if it meant my life? You're too dramatic. You're taking this too lightly. All right, don't start fighting, you two. Come along, both of you, it's time to leave. And the lady as well. A siesta at the beginning of the day. Papa is amazing. I feel like I lost in the contest of love for siestas. Yeah, we lost. It was a crushing defeat. Well, well, Papa. You've always had a knack for faking sleeping. What are we going to do with you? In Japanese, we call this technique Tanukine. Samiri, if you pinch that hard, you'll rip my butt off! You'll become more of a man if I rip off a little. But Mondo, huh? are you absolutely sure this is how you want things? You can stop now with the useless questions. Uh, I'm not asking you. Listen to me. This isn't something to discuss in front of someone who needs their rest, now is it? There's no more time. I guess that means there's only one thing we should be doing. It's not just one. <laughs> Well, it appears you and I will never agree. Despite how long we've known each other, I would have to agree with that completely. And I guess we'll leave it at that. <sighs> Milady. It looks like you have something you want to ask. <clears throat> well, if you are truly that interested, then allow us to satiate that curiosity. <gasps> Welcome back, Joey. Oh, hi, miss. Hmm? He looks like a normal child, doesn't he? <sighs> Don't be deceived. You see, this innocent little boy has a contract with the 16th card. La Torre, the tower. A contract with the tower? I just have to listen to what you say, right, Joey? That's exactly right, Elmo. Be a good boy and go play outside. Uh, but she came to visit with us. Milady has something important to discuss with me. If I do what you say, I'll be helping you out, right, Jolie? <laughs> Indeed. Okay. See you again. Goodbye. 
the reason Elmo was born is complicated. No, Jolie! The reason he was born? Oh, you mean Elmo was... Precisely, milady. However, you should know. Stop! There is nothing else for you to tell, milady. Huh. I want you to tell me. <laughs> As you figured out, I've created the homunculus to contract with the Taroko. That is its entire purpose for its being. But why would you do something like that? <laughs> I will answer that question. Oh. Since it is I who am the director. Please listen carefully. Long ago, Mondo had undone the seal on the Taroko. And then he established a contract with the card, Il Mondo, the world. The world is the card that unifies all of the Taroko. But there was a great consequence. A great consequence? Even among all of the Taroko, the cards 0 to 22, in other words, the major arcana, exist by consuming the emotional strength of the host. My Emperor, Jolie's Moon, even your lovers. The card simply doesn't matter. But the ones that are uncontracted, the cards that are without hosts, they survive only by receiving power from the host of the world. Is that the excess work Jolie was talking about? Because of that, Mondo. What? What's going to happen to Papa? He'll soon fall into a coma, and eventually... <gasps> you have to tell me! Is there any way to save him? We just have to lighten Mondo's burden by ensuring each card has a host. What? I had Luca and Temperance, Debido and the Hermit, and Pache and Strength establish contracts together when they were young for that very reason. Nothing more. So, to find hosts for the remaining cards... I told you already. Following countless experiments, the only ones that were able to establish contracts were the three of them. So, that's why you made a homunculus a contract? No. At this point, it's nothing more than garbage. Putrid refuse. Uh, hmm. That's not fair. But you know, there is another way to save Mondo. No! Uh, Jolie, stop it! Is there a reason to hesitate at this point? <gasps> It's to use the other Taroko that you have, milady. The Wheel of Fortune? That's right. Besides the lovers, you have a contract with the tenth card. La Ruota de la Fortuna. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> but I... You were saying? Papa and Mama never actually told me exactly what powers the Wheel of Fortune holds. Hmm. You see, the power of the Wheel of Fortune is to change the relationship between the host and the Taroko. Huh? The relationship between them? You once saved Samir with that power. Do you remember? <laughs> huh? Stop it! Samir! No! The only way left is for me to use my Arcana powers. It's true. If we use your judgment, it can heal. Mondo would be able to recover from his illness. But there's no guarantee that the world won't influence judgment, causing it to go berserk. Wait for me, Mondo!
Cula protezione! Something. There's nothing to do. Mama, what's wrong? It can't be. Thirteen years ago, Samir was saved because you unconsciously used the Wheel of Fortune power. I... don't remember anything. Huh? Why? Because the Wheel of Fortune changed the relationship that existed between the Berserk Judgment and your mother. <laughs> but then, if I used the Wheel of Fortune power on Papa... There is a chance. But to use the Wheel of Fortune is... Milady. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever wondered why it was that Mondo sent you away from this mansion and only allowed you to interact with a small group of people? Uh. It's so you won't unconsciously use the Wheel of Fortune power again. However... Mondo realized that he doesn't have much longer to live, so he concocted a plan, and he summoned you back to spend his remaining time with you. That's why he decided to hold this ridiculous Arcana duello to find an heir to replace him as Papa. That way, you'll have someone to support you after you lose your father. In two months, we will be holding the Arcana duello. And in doing so, we'll grant them a wish. And name them Papa. One more thing. The winner will marry my daughter, Felicita. wrong. So, I see you've heard. <laughs> Mama? Yes. Why did Papa choose a card like the world? I mean, if he knew it had such dangerous consequences and all. Mama? with the Taroko for this very reason. Uh, 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 
Manja! It appears that you are in need of my powers. I am El Mundo, the world. Do you swear loyalty to us? I sure do. If that means I can protect those dear to me. You still have an opportunity to nullify the contract. Enough! I will decide my own path! It's mine alone! Then shout, Chirati Finalazare! Jolie, move away! No way. The safest place on this island is right here by your side. No doubt. Girate Fidelizare! I want you to know your father is a great person, but also a tactless person. Mama. Mama, I really want to save Papa. Thank you. Oh, my. If we use my Wheel of Fortune, we can save him. You found out about your powers? Mm-hmm. I had told them to never say anything. But they never listened to me. They're hopeless. I'm sorry. No, you have no reason to apologize. Listen well, Felicita. Have you been able to control your lover's power by your own free will? Mm -mm. You see, that means that your heart is not strong enough to use the Wheel of Fortune power. It is just simply too powerful. We will save Mondo, no matter what. So don't ever mention the Wheel of Fortune again. Do you understand me, Felicita? What the hell? I was excited to see how much you'd improve since you'd asked me to spar with you. Do you really think that I'm actually giving it my all? You never uh, shut up, do you, uh, chickpea? Uh, Don't call me a chickpea! Have you been able to control your lover's power by your own free will? Uh, I'm so sorry. Guys. Please, lovers. Nova has clearly gotten better. But there's no way I'm letting anyone else win the duelo. I'm going to win this and take the title of Papa. I made Princess a solemn vow. Then that'll mean... It'll mean that I'll be your bride? Huh? You haven't won yet, so pay attention. That's not it. If he were to incorporate his arcana powers into his sword technique, he'd be a worthy opponent. But I have no intention of losing. If I were to somehow win the arcana duelo, I'd wish not to marry you, okay? I have a duty to set her free. <laughs> Now I'll be able to do it. She truly is your daughter, Mondo. If it's to protect those she loves, she doesn't care what happens to her. You're truly alike. <laughs> like how... Neither of you consider the pain you'll cause to those you leave behind.
Jolie, the Wheel of Fortune has consequences. You should have told her. If she knew of the consequences, there's no way she'd be willing to use the power. Uh, you mean you expect her to? Uh, if she were to use the Wheel of Fortune again, she'll lose her memory. It's too risky. Felicita! Felicita! Open your eyes, Felicita! I was too late. What's going on? Huh? Princess! Come on! Open your eyes! My daughter! Milady! What happened to her? Felicita! Felicita! My daughter! Hmm? Daughter, it's me. You know who I am. Who are you? <gasps> Milady. I wonder what's wrong with Milady. She seems so out of it lately. She doesn't reply even if we talk to her. I don't understand. It's as though she doesn't remember us at all. Mama, please tell me. Please, I want to know what's going on with Felicita. Or rather, why has she lost her memory? Ah, oh, hello, miss. I came to visit you. Huh? A uh, miss? What will you do after finding out? I would like to be of some help. Such a sweet child. Please do not mock me. The reason that Felicita is like that is because she used the other no. Tark. Oh. You don't need to worry about this. This is something that we, her family, need to work out. Oh. I'm very sorry. Well, if it isn't the chickpea. What do you want? You're not going to say it? Don't call me chickpea? Do you know why Princess ended up like that? Another Taroko? Mm -hmm. That's right. Fel has two Taroko contracts, the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. So, she's like that because she used the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. However, that's just my deduction. But why does she have two Taroko? The only thing I know is that she was already host to the two Taroko when she was born. When she was born? So, Princess Two. Princess Two? You're telling me you're the same? I'm not sure, but I don't remember ever making a contract with the Fool card. That means I've been the host since I was born. Uh, I'm the same way. Well, actually, my mother made the contract before I was born, and instead of making her the host, it made me the host while I was still in her womb. <laughs> what is it? Felicita is the daughter of Mama and Papa. I am Papa's nephew. What are you talking about now? You have a higher chance of contracting with a Taroko if you are related to an existing contractor. What are you trying to say? It would appear that you may actually be related to us. No, no way! I mean, Dante picked me up from Nord. It was just a coincidence.
You, Princess, and I all had Arcana powers from the moment we were born. That could just be a coincidence. But because of that, we were able to meet each other as members of the Arcana Famiglia. That's not a coincidence. We, the Arcana Famiglia, are like a family, bound together by Arcana powers, aren't we? Why are you bringing this up now? Huh? This is something that we, her family, need to work out. <sighs> and I don't want to lose any members of that family. I want to get Princess's memory back, no matter what. The fact that I agree with you really bothers me. But I do. Because this concerns all of us. Huh? I have an idea. This brings back memories. That's right. You've been here as well. I've heard this theory, that to get someone to recall memories, take them to where the memories were made. Do you remember anything, Princess? Well then, I guess I'm just going to have to find something that you'll remember. This is Mama's room. <laughs> what is that? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Come on, let me see it. Cool ring. <laughs> it's mine and Felicita's engagement ring. Oh, so it's your engagement... What? Engagement ring? What's that supposed to mean? More precisely, I was asked to hold on to it. <laughs> Wait, milady! <laughs> An engagement ring? It's the ring that I wanted to give my son. In other words, the one who will marry my daughter. I'd like you to give my daughter that ring yourself one day. So why is something like that here? Because I returned it. Huh? What? You returned it? Why? The reason that my parents have been asleep so long is because I used my powers of death. Uh. I have no right to be that son after I put Papa's older brother in that state. Her memories are gone. I wonder where they went. What do you mean, where, Elmo? I was thinking about getting them back. Hmm. You know, I never really thought of it quite in that way before. Come to think of it, it's never been proven that memories are completely destroyed. Huh? It is possible that they are just sealed away somewhere deep inside of her heart. You fools! Do you have any idea how worried we were? Exactly! If something were to happen to Milady, then... Sorry to break it to you, but something's already happened. Dante, you know the reason Bambina lost her memories, don't you? <laughs> but it's not like you'd tell us that easily. I can mostly guess the answer, though. Then why don't we compare our answers? Julie! The correct answer is, I had Milady use the Wheel of Fortune without telling her that losing her memory would be the consequence. <sighs> <sighs> what the hell for, old man? You did it for Papa. Is it that right? <sighs> and that's the same reason you had us contract with the Taroko, isn't it? But... Why would Milady using the Wheel of Fortune be... She did it to save Mondo. <sighs> the World Card had that heavy a consequence? 
Then, because Princess used the Wheel of Fortune card, she... Mm-hmm. Because of that, Mondo's life has been saved. Uh. Despite this all being for Papa, Jolie, what you've done here is... You used the princess, didn't you, you bastard? <laughs> you even used Bambina as a tool? I'm going to kill you after all. If you kill me, there'll be no chance of Milady regaining her memories. Say what? <gasps> uh, your Toroko is the moon. The moon's arcana power is to forcefully bring back memories on those it's used on. <laughs> However, I have no intention of relying on you. <laughs> I know that you only do things for my sake and are sincere. Therefore, I hold no grudge. However, there's no way I can forgive you either. <laughs> Papa, I can't forgive him for what he's done either. But please, if he's the only one who can truly save her, Papa, let him save Princess with his Arcana powers. Liberta. Papa. Hmm? The reason that we, the Arcana Familia, exist is to help those in need on Regalo Island by using our Arcana powers. And, since that is the case, it's our duty to bring back Felicita's memories by using Jolie's arcana powers. Not to mention, I don't want to lose another family member. Nova. And... <clears throat> Jolie, as the director, I beg of you. <sighs> Save Milady. What happens if he fails? There's no guarantee that this will not endanger Milady's life. There simply has to be some other way to do this! Even if there were, Luca, there's no guarantee. That method wouldn't endanger her life either. <laughs> I believe we need to gamble on this possibility. Arcana powers 
in order that I can push yours to their limits. <laughs> Look there. are about to be sealed away forever. Let's go! Mondo! Mondo, that's enough! Uh, don't be ridiculous! I've come here to retrieve something precious to me! But at this rate, it's going to cost you your life! Mondo! It doesn't matter at all if I lose my life! You're wrong, Papa! I already told you, I do not want to lose another family member! Family? Felicita. Welcome back, milady. It's good to see you. Thank you for your hard work, Jolie. Thank you, but I'm certainly not the one you should be thanking here, Mondo. Arcana powers rely on emotional strength. It's because of their strong feelings reaching, milady. I have a wonderful family. This is something that we, her family, need to work out. Liberta, Nova. Thank you. Mama? I'm very sorry, Nova. I said something I never should have as the mama of the Arcana Familia. I'm so very ashamed. No. Uh, That's precisely why I was able to realize something very important. <laughs> you really are a sweet child. Papa, I think I've realized something. Hmm? Felicita had mentioned it some time before. I wonder why we even have our kind of powers. I truly believe that we have our kind of powers to protect those dear to us. Hmm. That just might be the case. Those dear to us? Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Jolie, I must thank you today for what you've done. Thank you very There's much. There's no need to thank me at all. Uh, I was merely cleaning up my own mess. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going out for a bit. You're saying that the relationship between Mondo and the World Card hasn't changed. But why? Milady used the powers of the Wheel of Fortune. It means that Milady was not able to fully use the Wheel of Fortune in her current emotional state. Then Mondo. 
Then I'm not able to save Papa? You lack heart. <laughs> if you have the strong desire, I will provide the emotional power that the Wheel of Fortune requires, and that shall negate the Wheel of Fortune's consequences. You must be your Gliamonti. <laughs> To establish Gliamonti, the lovers, you must have someone else. Love cannot be completed with you alone. Love? You know... Hmm? It's great that Princess got her memories back. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to handle it if we disappeared from her memories, you know what I mean? That's true. Before I realized it, she'd already become irreplaceable to me. What? No, no, I, I mean to the family. I feel a bit ashamed, you know? Princess used her arcana powers to help Papa, even though she knew the risk and wasn't afraid. What am I doing compared to something like that? It's not just you. Huh? I feel the same. I would like you to share your strong desires with me. To establish Gliamonti, the lovers, you must have someone else. Love cannot be completed with you alone. You lack heart. Love. Heart. Milady, I brought you chamomilla tea today. It should help you feel better. Hey, Luca? Milady? Can you tell me, what is love? <laughs> Milady is in love? <gasps> Milady is in love? It can't be true! With whom? No, no, it's much too early. Who is it? I will not forgive the one deceiving you, milady! I fear I may have asked the wrong person. I will person. not forgive them! Milady, it is I. It all looks so delicious! I can't uh, wait to eat! You've got to wait until milady comes! Okay. Whoa, this all looks great! That's a lot of food. Oh, you uh -oh. mustn't! All of this is for Milady's recovery celebration! Recovery, recovery celebration? celebration? Yeah! I had these three help me and spent all morning baking it! We're gonna have her eat lots of food! Oh. Huh? We should do something, too! <laughs> I thank you for coming. I didn't want anyone else to hear what I'm about to say. It's about Mondo. The relationship between Papa and the world hasn't changed, right? If you already know, this shouldn't take long. As things stand, Mondo's condition will cause him to fall into a coma again. I heard the voice of Glee Amanti. Mm. It said it would negate the Wheel of Fortune's consequences. What's that? But... The Gliamonti said I lacked the heart for that. Because I can't complete love on my own. Huh. So what? What should I do? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Pardon me, milady. I was just thinking it would be a rather amusing research subject. <laughs> well, for example... I suggest that you choose either between Liberta or Nova to be your lover in this. Huh? The only reason you're sitting here now is because of the two of them. <laughs> I don't really care what decision you reach. But you're the only one who can save Mondo. Hey, princess! Are you busy tomorrow? Busy? Let's hit the sea to celebrate your recovery! Uh. Mm.
Well then, let's celebrate Princess's recovery. Salute Salute. Day. It's delicious. And the sea breeze feels so nice, too. Thanks for bringing me, you guys. <laughs> Actually, there's one more present. There is? Oh, it's so cute! We got it from Miss Federica's shop. Oh, oh. It's from both of us. <laughs> Thank you. It looks real good. It does. Thank you. For everything. Uh -huh. It's because of the both of you that I'm able to be here. The two of you totally saved me. Thank you. Well, when you say it like that, I guess. We only did what we had to do. <laughs> but I still wanted to say it. Princess is totally asleep. She must have been exhausted. Let's let her be for now. Yeah. If it weren't for Princess, we'd never be standing here fishing together, now would we? It's true that the atmosphere of the family has changed because of Fel. I've always only had time to worry about what was important to me. But I want to change. Thing is, I'm still scared to use my Arcana powers. I want to tell you about my past. So the man that saved you at Casabianca and the masked man on the boat, you're saying that they were both Dante? I think... I think that he was fighting us to make me use my Arcana powers. Oh, I see. It's simple. I'm just no match for Dante. He's just too big and massive. It seems like I'm always chasing his back. Having someone you aspire to be like? I'm envious of that. I want to surpass him! Otherwise, I won't be able to protect Felicita. Knowing you, you'll probably be able to surpass him. What? What are you going to do if you can't believe in yourself? Nova... You're awake. I totally... You must have been tired. Sorry for dragging you out here. Oh, it's okay. I'll give you a hand. Thank you. Princess! Bell! <laughs> Over there. She'll be fine. She's breathing. We need to keep her comfortable and hope she wakes up soon. So she was trying to grab this. Her hand is cold. Yeah. You're right. We have to hurry and warm her up. There's driftwood. If we use this... But we don't have anything to start a fire. I'll start the fire. With my powers of the fool. The Berta. You and Princess believe in me. But I'm afraid that's not enough. Because... 
I'm no good if I don't believe in myself. Have you found your answer? My answer? If you choose one to get close to, it'd be easy to determine feelings and relationships. But I don't think that's what love is. Papa is important to me. But I want to decide with my heart, not choose because I have to. My host, we do not have time. They have found their answer, even while you hesitate. You're awake. Uh, I was... Uh... Liberto used his arcana powers... to save you. What? Felicita. No, never mind. You fools! <sighs> you do this time and time again. Not only did you leave with Milady, who's still recovering, but how dare you put her in harm's way as well! Yeah, but we... I invited the both of them in celebration of Felicita's recovery. I apologize. The only way we were able to save Felicita was because Liberta used his arcana powers. I'm afraid I wasn't able to save Fel. Nova's matured. What? The one you have to surpass may be him, so I'd make sure you're prepared. Hey, wait a sec, Nova! What is it? Why did you say something to defend me back there? Because I was able to make up my mind because of you. What? Listen, I'm going to try to awaken my parents. <gasps> I wasn't able to forgive my parents for using me as a tool of secession and plotting to kill Papa and Mama. And so... Because of that rage, my powers of death went out of control and my parents wouldn't wake up. So you didn't purposely put your parents to sleep? No, it's the same. That was the only way I was able to stop my parents. And I don't regret one bit putting the both of them to sleep. Why are you lying? Huh? Be honest with yourself! You do regret it, don't you? Leave me alone. What do you mean, leave you alone? You're suffering too! That has nothing to do with you. <sighs> How can you say this has nothing to do with me? Uh. Ah! This is exactly what I hate about you. You try to be so mature and act like you're the only one that knows what's going on. I should have known better. We're family. Uh. Let me help, okay? Roberta. Uh. Let me help you as well. Nova. Thanks. It's no use. This is so hard and I have no idea what I'm reading. I can't seem to find the information I'm looking for. I'm afraid there aren't many that have Arcana powers. So the resources are somewhat limited. <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. Huh? Hey, remember when we were fighting on the boat? 
You put everyone to sleep? But all of them got away later, right? Well, yeah. What of it? I think it's pretty obvious they weren't stuck sleeping forever. I wonder why. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the simpleton bringing up a very valid point. Since I am researching Nova's parents, I believe I can answer that for you, if you'd like. What the hell? If you know, just tell us already! <laughs> this is just one part of my research. If you don't mind telling me the results of the experiment, I don't mind telling you. Now hear me. I beg of you, if there really is a way to awaken my parents, please tell me. <laughs> Are you really going to do it? Yeah. But... Oh. This is my recompense for what I have done to my parents all of these years. There's no way you wouldn't be able to break the effects of your own arcana powers. But know that if they are asleep because you lost control of your powers, then you'll have to wish even harder for them to wake up. Just use your arcana powers with even more desire than you did when you put them to sleep. This is the only way. As a consequence, you may not be able to wake up. I don't care. As long as they wake up. <clears throat> I always envied Fel, whose parents loved her unconditionally. But that's not exactly right. Fel has always genuinely loved her family. That's what I envied. Mother, father, I can do it. La tenebrore addormentato! Nova! Nova! Stay back! It'll be fine. I'll awaken them. No matter what happens, I will do it. Consciousness? Yeah. What about my mother and father? I see. Well, even Jolie said it would probably take some time. Let's wait until morning, okay? Stop it. You're hogging the blanket, yeah. Roberta. Well, we're close to the window and it's cold. That doesn't mean you should hog it all. <laughs> You two really do get along. Why would you think that? What he said. But I am very grateful. It's because you two were here that I could make my decision. Then I'd like to thank you guys too. I came to terms with my powers because of you two. <laughs> but I... If you choose one to get close to, it'd be easy to determine feelings and relationships. I wonder what love is. It's complicated, isn't it? And then you fall asleep? Well, that's no surprise. I'm going to fight for Fel. Well, so am I. I'm going to be the one who frees Princess. I'm not going to hold back at the Ruelo. I wouldn't want you to. Nova's parents have not completely recovered, but should be on the road to recovery. I see. 
It appears there was some regret towards the attempted plot to kill you and your wife, as well as the poor treatment towards Nova. Nova's strong feelings may have reached them. Hmm. Tomorrow is finally the Arcana Duello. Everyone, look upon the sunshine of Regalo. I, the 21st card, Il Mondo, the world, will reward the victor the title of Papa. Grant them their wish, and you will marry my daughter Felicita. This I swear. Now let the games begin. <laughs> I hereby announce the commencement of the Arcana Duello is now. Yeah, Papa! Yeah! The Arcana Duello, a competition to determine the one with the strongest Arcana powers. This competition will be a knockout tournament. The two remaining opponents will compete against each other in the final round, and the victor will earn the right to battle Papa. And if they are able to defeat Papa, they will win the Arcana Duello. <laughs> Again, she demonstrates her skills with a series of kicks to the chest. The sword is going strong yet again today. The Esperanza of you. The winner is the young sailor king of Regalo, Liberta! <laughs> Gaze in awe at the skilled back blade of this young man with a fever for slaughter. The winner is Regalo's hardest steel swordsman, Nova! Continuing after Victories of the young three. La Copa Scomparire. The fast talker with the slicked back hair has used his arcana powers. He has made himself invisible. The winner is Regalo's Don Juan Tenorio Demito. Fourteen to two trapassare. He's keeping a whole gang on the move by himself. The winner is Regalo's wild man who drinks like a fish and eats like a horse. El Pacio del Angelo. He's rendering his opponent's arcana powers useless with his own lawless powers. The winner is the high-class servant who loves Regalo, Luca! And that will end the preliminary matches. Now the greater arcana cards battle. The first to appear is Felicita! Her opponent will be Debito! I'm not going to hold back, Bambina. I'm going to win this duello and steal you away. You'll see if you can! <laughs> you know something? You really are amazing. Grazie, Bambina! You know I'd like you to win the duello, Princess. But if I don't give it my all here, you won't smile for me. Mm -hmm. So let's go, Princess! The day I heard about the Arcana Duello, I thought to myself that out of everyone, I would not fight you. I do not want to fight you. If I were to have to fight you, I intended to withdraw. <laughs> but now, seeing you here standing your ground, I thought, what good would it do for me to run away from you? So hear me now, milady. No matter what, I cannot lose this battle. All right, Luca, then give it your best shot. Well then, here I come! I have absolutely no idea how in the world I lost. No kidding. I must admit, I don't remember holding back at all. Nothing less from my lady. <laughs> Congratulations! 
Don't tell me. Are you three losers having a pity party? Shut up, old man. I hear you withdrew from the tournament altogether. That usually wouldn't be allowed for the rest of us. I'm sure you used your position as advisor to do so. As the family advisor, I could tell you why the three of you lost. There's no need for that. <laughs> it's just the fact that Milady has grown much stronger than we had imagined. <laughs> the fact that that was the only reason you could come up with would be why you lost. So listen up. The correct answer is Milady has to use the Wheel of Fortune. Why would she use the Taroko that would cause her to lose her memory again? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, he's right. Especially now that Papa is safe. Why? It can't be. The relationship between Papa and the world. A surprisingly brilliant insight from you. With Milady's present strength, she was not able to change the relationship between Mondo and the world. Then... Papa was... However, Milady has learned from the lovers that they would nullify the Wheel of Fortune's consequences. And what do you mean by that? It means that no one other than Milady can save Mondo. I see. Now I understand. Yeah. I can see why we lost against Bambina. It is because her fate is far more cruel than I ever could have imagined. Milady, forgive me. I failed as your attendant. Yeah! Go Liberta! Liberta's opponent is... Well, who would have thought I'd be fighting you? Hear me now, Dante. Because I'm about to prove to you that I've become stronger. And I will finally surpass you. Will you now? Hmm. I look forward to it. Yeah! Nova, let us have a good battle. Yes, Mama, a good battle. I'd like you to see how much I've grown. You'd be surprised. <laughs> My host, you don't have time, do you? Cleomonte. What should I do? Who should I choose? in order to save Papa. me that night disguised in that mask I was able to learn that I could use arcana powers Damn. so I was able to save princess that time what will you do This ends it! That's right. Arcana powers are for protecting those you love. The one who is precious to me is... Dante. <laughs> the winner is... Liberta! Liberta. Oh, 
Nova, you're still hesitating. It's true. I'm hesitating to swing a sword. But now, I won't hold back! I'm sorry, but this won't be so easy to win with naive feelings like that! <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mama. I would like to thank you for having the heart to treat me as an equal. The day when you showed me the warmth of a true family, I was envious of you and your family. I was trying to ignore the fact that I had put my parents to sleep when they tried to use me as a tool in their plot because of their jealousy toward you. But that's no longer the case. Now I will walk with my parents when they awaken. I am no longer afraid. Prepare yourself! The one who gave me that chance... ...is her! Backblade strike. You have shown me, indeed, how much you've grown. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> Mama. Yes. That's... When we took Felicita after she'd lost her memory, we found this. I see. But perhaps... It wasn't chance, after all. Huh? Maybe it was destined to be back in your hands. Back in my hands? I will win, no matter what. So I can finally give this to her. Just you watch me. The fact that you two will be crossing swords is probably destiny as well. The ones who have been blessed by the sea are... La Morte. And... Everything I have. Prepare! Here I come, Nova! Bring it, Liberta! If you choose one to get close to, it'd be easy to determine feelings and relationships. If I do that, I'll be able to save Papa. Even if I can't right now, someday I'll be able to. Just like Princess said, I'm able to use my Arcana powers now. I'll defeat Nova with these powers, so I can battle with Princess. I want Princess to know my current self. And as long as I'm with Princess, I feel I can become even stronger. <laughs> 
Felicita was the one who gave me the strong heart to face my past. I have to fight her so I can show her my gratitude. So I will defeat you, Liberta, and win against Felicita as well. Then, I will proudly give her that ring. Coming quite intense. The sun is beginning to set. But neither one is willing to back down. Enough of this fooling around. Now, Liberta, prepare yourself for my final blow. I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm going to hit you with everything I've got. Have you decided on which one? If you don't, love cannot be established. If love is not established, you will not be able to acquire the power that the Wheel of Fortune requires, nor will you be able to nullify the consequences. The, the one, one who's, who's going, going to fight! Felicia and me! me! Ah! Destino Lestrigiare! Fuca! Renew! <laughs> Are you finally awake? Did we... Huh? Uh, but who won the match? The match ended in a draw. A draw? After the match, you both lost consciousness. And so, uh. because of this circumstance, Milady got the chance to fight Mondo by default. Huh? Felicita did? Who won? She was able to beat Mondo. Because of that, Mondo's life was lengthened. It appears that the two have Papa's awakened. Uh, life? The Wheel of Fortune was able to change the relationship between Mondo and the world. <laughs> Come on, is that all? Give me more! <laughs> Is that the best your special kit can do? No, I'm just getting started! <gasps> Not bad. I have no objections. But I have to show you my strength. As someone who is going to secede me and lead the family as the Donna. This is something that you will need. It will ensure that you have great success. This time we'll start with this! If you cannot become stronger, you cannot be kind. If you aren't kind, you won't be able to give each member of the family an equal amount of love. Felicita. You have always had more than sufficient kindness, but you must become stronger than you are now. Felicita, you must follow your own path. Then you will be able to become someone kind enough to love anyone. Someone kind enough to love anyone? Have you decided on which one? If you don't, love cannot be established. This whole time, putting the feelings that Liberta and Nova have for me on a scale. <laughs> Wait a minute! What is going on? Recently, Papa had been rumored as being ill. Could it be striking at this point? <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> Felicita. I'm so sorry, Papa. 
What are you talking about? You don't want me to become someone who picks someone they love because of calculations. Yet I... That which the Wheel of Fortune desires is the strong, kind heart that is able to truthfully reply to the strong feelings of a loved one. To reply to the feelings of a loved one? By choosing those people as our hosts, we are able to truly release our power. Then for me to host Arcana Powers means that I... No, my host. You have realized the truth. What? The one thing you need to wish for the most. Tonight, we celebrate the special occasion of Milady's 17th birthday, as well as Papa's recovery. Everyone, thank you for gathering today. The winner from the other day's Arcana Duello is my daughter, Felicita. The promise of marrying my daughter to the victor has been voided. To give them my title, this has not been voided. Next, I would like to keep my pledge and grant the victor her wish. And my wish is this. For Papa to be Papa for as long as he lives. So therefore, I cannot accept his title just yet. So I shall grant this wish. Papa! All glory to Arcana! My precious daughter grew in the duello. Because she has grown, there is no need to have her marry so easily. Those who want to marry my daughter, step forward. I shall see if you're worthy. What? Where exactly is this going? I've got a bad feeling. Yeah, so do I. However, I don't want to give my daughter away just yet. In fact, I will never give her away as long as I have a breath. So, it looks to me like Papa seems to have grown the least. No kidding.